What's up guys? Welcome to this next tutorial on learning Python. Now in the last video I showed you how to basically get to this point here where um, you have the Eclipse IDE all set up for Python and in this video I'm going to show you more in-depth on we're just going to get right into uh, the Python programming language. So Python has a built-in function called print and it's a method that takes parameters um, of strings, of variables, of basically anything you want to output onto uh, the console. So the first example I gave you was hello world and what that did was just print out hello world to the console. Now print here is Eclipse is nice because it gives you basically um, it kind of gives you a description of the of the uh, method that you're using and it says prints values to a stream or blah blah, blah basically takes um, these can take these parameters and we'll get into stuff like that later but for now we're going to keep it simple and we're just going to go through a few things so you have print hello world and what you could also do is set variables to print out. So if we wanted to set the variable, I don't know, string is equal to hello is equal to hello world and we're going to print string. And if we run it, you'll see that we still get hello world. And just to show you that it's different. So essentially what this does is it says, hey, string, we want this string variable to be equal to this string. And now this string variable can be called anything we want. But if we don't call this variable, then nothing's going to happen to it. So it's just this variable is set and it's just sitting there. Until we say we want to do something with this variable it's not going to do anything and in fact it gives us an error if we say so let's just say we want to say string string this variable does not exist we didn't tell python to create this variable so if we run this we we'll actually get an error saying that hey this variable it does not it's not defined we didn't tell this variable to be equal to anything but we did tell this variable anything which is what we can call it. we can call it anything we want to be equal to hello world so now that we instantiated this variable we can run it and it will run it just fine now if you wanted to the thing with python um, i'm used to doing a lot of java programming so the cool thing about python is that you don't have to um, basically determine what type of variable you're going to be like in Java you have to do int to determine if it's an integer or string to determine if it's a string in Python you just name the uh, variable and then what it's going to be equal to so if I want let's say I want anything to be equal to hello world and then I want it to print out anything now I can reassign the same variable anything to be equal to a number say I want it to be equal to 6 and the semicolon is not necessary it's just sometimes I might put a semicolon just because I'm used to it with the Java and the, you know other languages they have different uh, different syntax to, the, to uh, identify the end of a line and the semicolon is one of them for Java so now and you could put it there too, it's not going to, I don't believe it does anything if you leave it there. But um, now we want to print anything again. And it's going to, let's run it. And now, so it says hello world and six. So what we did is we assigned the variable anything to this string, hello world, and we printed it out to our console. Now, when the the code is compiled it's going to run one line at a time 
So once this happens, then we want to say, hey, now we want to set anything equal to the number six. And then we're going to print it out again. Now this, these are the same variables, but they're just assigned to different values at different times. So if we, if we said that this variable is going to be equal to, let's call this string again, and then we're going to print out string and anything. And I'll explain what this is in a second. We're going to get an error saying that, hey, anything is not defined because we haven't, we haven't initialized it yet. Now it, it says we found it, but see how anything is equal to six and it's found at first, but really it can't read it yet because we start at line one and we work our way down. So anything has not been defined yet. So we'll run it and we'll say anything is not defined. But in our code, we did define it, but we just didn't define it correctly. So if we wanted to run this string, we would have to define anything before we basically do something with it. So this is going to essentially just print out string and anything. Hello world six. And now you'll notice that there's a space between hello world and six. Let me clean this up a little bit. Hello world space six. And you're seeing that even if I close this little space here, you'll notice that there's still a space between hello world and six. And that's because the comma inside print, when you separate your, uh, your values like this, it's gonna automatically add a space because it's, that's just what that does. And it's, um, it's kind of assuming when you put a comma here that you want a space. But let's say that you don't want a space and you want it to basically be right at the end of this string. You want it to append to the end of the string. So, I forgot how to do this exactly. String. See, this is where my Java and my Python get confused. So, So I think what's happening here is it's thinking I want to do an algebraic uh, 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 operation on these two variables, and you can't because this is a string and this is a a uh, integer. So in order to basically get the space away, let's say we had um, let's say we print string the variable string plus, and we use the plus assignment to append it to another string, and we're going to create this string on the fly. And we're going to say uh, goodbye. So now you can see how it says hello world, which is our variable string. And then it says goodbye appended to the very end without any space. And that's because we use the plus operator and then we appended this, uh, this, uh, this string. So if we wanted to append the variable anything to the end of this, what we could do is say, also what you could do is add a space here if you want to use this. This type of, uh, this type of print is very common for um, Java using this plus and the, the uh, quotes and everything like this. This setup is very common in Java when you're printing out to the console. So <clears throat> if we put a space here, then essentially what that's going to do is create a space for us. I mean, not for us. We did it, but it's going to add the space there. So to shorthand this, if we just wanted to do it quickly, we could just say comma and then